Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Aaron Dingle has been hiding a significant secret from his mother Chas Dingle, as L.I.M. Kavanagh is aware. Next week, the Emmerdale veteran learns the truth, and both men get into a massive fight. After receiving a triple negative breast cancer diagnosis earlier this year, Chas Dingle made the decision to have a double mastectomy. However, after learning that a BRCA2 gene mutation was the cause of her illness, she encouraged the men in her family to get testing to see if they also carried the same mutation. If so, they would then have a higher chance of getting the same kind of cancer as her and the matriarch of the Dingle family, Faith Dingle, who took her own life after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Chas was happy to hear that her son Aaron Dingle, played by Danny Miller, was also safe after learning that both of her half-brothers, Caleb Milligan and Kane Dingle, had received the all-clear. She was unaware that Aaron's BRCA2 gene mutation test results were indeed positive. While Dr. Liam Kavanagh, Johnny McPherson, is aware that Aaron isn't being truthful and is attempting to persuade the troublemaker to come clean, Chas, Lucy Pargeter, is unaware that Aaron is lying to her. The secret will be revealed in later moments. The following week on ITV, Liam willfully attempts to conceal Aaron's actual gene test, result from Chas, despite the latter's pointed queries. Chas is really worried by what Liam implied as he quickly leaves. Aaron gives Chas the slightest hint about the truth when he asks him a direct inquiry regarding the gene test. Now that his mother is aware of the reality, Aaron finds it difficult to deal with his feelings and has immediately resorted to rage and denial. Liam is taught a tough lesson by the hottie after he makes it obvious to him that he has crossed a line. The GP has no choice but to comply when Chas asks Liam, who is obviously hurt, if Aaron's fists are to blame in later scenes. Liam tries frantically to talk Chas out of going straight after Aaron and to take a different approach instead. But while Liam and Chas enjoy a romantic moment, Ella Forster, Paula Lane, Liam's new love interest, hints at more difficulty ahead for Liam. Aaron first denies that the gene test result feels like a death sentence, but Chas' gentle approach gradually penetrates his defenses. Aaron and Chas both realize he has come a long way when he is able to talk to him about his anxieties. Aaron is comforted after making his heartbreaking confession by his ex-stepfather Patty Kirk, Dominic Brunt, who assures him that he will always be there for him. What is ahead for Aaron, though? Eric Pollard of Emmerdale has learned something unsettling about Amit Sharma. In the ITV soap opera, Chris Chattel plays a former antiques dealer who just about avoided being duped by Emmett when he realized the businessman was playing him. The audience is aware of Emmett's severe financial problems and his debt to some really risky individuals. When Eric smelled a rat, Emmett became belligerent. He was attempting to repay Eric for some of his retirement investments. Eric was interested by Emmett's threats so he joined forces with Vinnie Dingle and Rodney Blackstock to uncover him. Eric attempted to break into the Sharma home tonight in search of proof, but Amit and Jai caught him. Amit was able to negotiate his way out of it by stating that Eric was losing it because of his Parkinson's diagnosis. Jay, who was now fully committed to Team Amit, chose to believe him and felt sorry for Eric. At the Woolpack, a smug Emmett came up to Eric and made fun of him again, saying, You look after yourself, eh? Eric, poor old crazy man. Eric informed Vinny, The man is ruthless, after Emmett left. You should hear the persuasive falsehoods he's told Jai about me. He even deceived the authorities a few months prior. I keep thinking about the previous occupant of the house, located at the base of the steps, deceased. Vinny shot back, Rishi? Do you believe Amit murdered Rishi? After what I've witnessed today, Eric said, I know he's capable of it. 
But would Amit act desperately to silence Eric for good now that he's following the truth? In tonight's episode of Emmerdale, Ruby Fox Milligan disclosed a devastating family secret. Earlier this year, the character, played by actress Beth Cordingly in the ITV soap opera, arrived in the area to reunite her estranged husband, Caleb. She is an utter riot. She has clashed with the Dingles and teamed up with Kim Tate in an attempt to get Caleb to leave the village with her, so her time there has not been easy. Watchers have been witnessing Ruby's recent displays of devotion to Caleb, bordering on obsession. Tonight, the show uncovered a sinister family secret that explains why. The couple shared tidbits of their past while they ate dinner with their son Nikki. Ruby remarked, You know, I wasn't much of a cook when I first met your dad. I did all the cooking, cleaning, and ironing, Caleb continued. Your mother was elegant, incredibly elegant. She joked, I'm still very posh, when Nikki inquired further about her family. Caleb remarked, your mom's family didn't exactly warm to me, they thought she could do better. They genuinely cared about their kid and wanted the best for her. It wasn't my fault. Ruby attempted to downplay the revelation that she had lost her entire wealthy family by selecting him, claiming only that things were said and we stopped talking. More often than you might imagine. Caleb asked her, looking serious for a moment. Have I ever really said thank you? You made many sacrifices for me. Yes, I did, Ruby answered. Voluntarily. Don't thank me. This is strange. Just don't turn the dingles on me either. You belong to me, not to them. Will Ruby's family, however, make a startling comeback in their daughter's life? Lawrence Robb, an Emmerdale performer, told his fans, this is beyond difficult, and then made an appeal. The actor, who plays Mackenzie Boyd in the ITV serial opera, has been very busy, but he disclosed last month that he has other things to do outside of the screen. Lawrence, who debuted on Emmerdale in 2020 as Maura Dingle's younger brother, disclosed that he will be collecting money for Samaritans, an organization that helps people who are experiencing mental illness or are in danger of ending their lives. In an Instagram video that included him cuddling up to his cute pet dog, he announced that he will be running the London Marathon in April. The soap opera star remarked, I have decided to run the London Marathon because I'm crazy, poking fun at his admirers and following. I'm running because it's a wonderful cause, he continued. In order to let folks know they're not alone, I'm attempting to raise as much money as I can. In addition, Lawrence shared pictures and videos from several of his workouts, writing, London Marathon Run Alert. I'm about to beg for your hard-earned cash. My profile has a link to my fundraiser, hello at Samaritan's Charity. He continued, my goal is to earn as much money as I can to support volunteer training so that they can assist anyone who is having difficulty coping. It would be much appreciated if you could spare anything. Huge love to all of you. Lawrence has since provided an updated version. He uploaded a selfie to his Instagram story, seeming to be frowning as he hammered the pavements in anticipation of his next task. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.